storm had escalated to severe, and we had no choice but to abort the mission. I'm Ridley Scott, I'm the director of Martian, and uh, probably a few other films that you've heard of. I think I landed first on real dystopia. You gotta move on, you gotta move forward. Because the Martian was a more optimistic view, I thought it was kind of interesting. I like the dry humor, I like the gallows humor, you can joke about nearly having died. I'm entering this log for the record. This is Mark Watney, and I'm still alive, obviously. NASA looked toward the landing on Mars in 2025, maybe 2030 in the Martian. That's why everything's slightly futuristic, but not a lot. I mean, the suits look like they could be today. The ship is an evolution of fundamentally the International Space Station, because once you're up there, you don't need aerodynamics, because it's a vacuum. If I'd known about Martian water, which we now believe to be salt or brackish, that may have affected the story a little bit. He would have actually been trying to work out how the hell do I turn brackish water into drinking water. It would be a pity to have lost the sequence where he blows himself up. Yes. Mars right now is about eight months there and eight months back. So it's impractical right now at the moment. They've just evolved what they call a plasma engine. So you might change a journey to Mars from eight months down to three months, four months. Does that mean a journey to the next planet is not impossible? There's a lot of reasons why I think it's important to go to Mars to spend that kind of research, intense research and planning, because it teaches us something. Every time we do something as monumental as that, it's monumental. And that learning curve could evolve into all kinds of information. And the fact they now know there's salt water on Mars, that will tell them a lot once they go into the water. What evolved there? How did it evolve? Was Mars like here? If Mars is like here, long ago, are we heading in that direction? Mars now is the stepping stone off into what I call deep water, because once you're beyond Mars, you're gonna go into deep space where you have to come to terms with flying close to the speed of light. There will be people who will be definitely willing to go off into space and never return, for sure. Probably get a list now of half a million people say, I'll do it. Would you want to go to Mars if you could? Absolutely no way. But I wouldn't need to, I've just done it.